ready for maximum good, maximum bad, and maximum ugly. I can take anything. I don't necessarily desire my comfort zone. I don't care who's going to be in the band. Let's just do it. Let's see what happens. This ought to be a hoot. And I'm a, I'm a big fan of anything hoot. I'm in Nevada, and I end up in a neighborhood. Boy, somebody retarded. Yeah, 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 yeah. In a neighborhood in Las Vegas, you put this Nah. I'm Theodore Anthony Nugent. I've been Theodore Anthony Nugent since December 13th, 1948, which is a momentous occasion for true independence and attitude. And nothing has been more perfect since. All right, Reese, I feel at home. We got drums, we got an amp, got enough decadence for a French whore. I suppose I'll get Ozzy to do my laundry. I gotta see what the is up here. Well, this has got to be my room. <laughs> this is just too cute for words. I think I'll have to shoot a bigger one of these, but thank you for your sacrifice, Bambi. My dad taught me about an aboriginal function. That would be the heart right there. <laughs> Hunting your dinner with a sharp stick. I still do that today. And all you'd get out of that would be a <laughs> And I was weaned on that about the same time that I got my first electric guitar. My career can be summed up as a spiritual erection. Look at the damn Yankees and the Amboy Dukes and the damn Ted Nugent Band. They're so gravity-defying and overwhelming. The ultimate rhythm and blues rock and roll soundtrack of the human experience. Maximizing the good while playing with the bad and the ugly just for effect. Escape this decadence and go play some rock and roll. See if I can find my soul. I will fight hard for my musical dreams to dominate a musical collaboration. Feeling much better now. All right. But I also will not even waste my time with people I don't respect. It's got to be my rig here. I will compromise. Ouch! That hurt even to say the word. <laughs> They're going to breathe fire, or they're going to get hurt as I teach them how. For me to get real excited, be something like if it was Chris Cornell and, and Slash. Now that would be a super group. Well. My name is Jason Bonham. I've been playing drums now since I was five. And the uh, madness begin. First band, I was 16. There's a band called Air Race, which we signed to Atlantic, which led me to get my own thing together, Bonham, in the late 80s, early 90s. What I'm doing now, I play drums with Foreigner. Because you're the son of John Bonham. One of the greatest, if not the greatest, rock and roll drummer that walked this earth. That was in the third biggest band ever, Led Zeppelin. I'll always be known as the kid. Why am I doing this show? I think it could be an amazing project. kid. Jason Bonham, Dan, glad nice to meet you. Jason, nice to see you, son. I didn't recognize Jason when he first came in. So Give me a hug from rock and roll, rhythm and blue heaven. Uh, Knowing that he was there immediately made me think of the thunder drumming, thunder god John Bonham legacy. And that he does an exceptional, if not downright perfect job. We shall call upon the souls of all blood brothers past mm -hmm. and make them prouder than Think? Oh, definitely. I think it's the rock world, he, uh, the heritage that I bring into the thing, and I think he went, oh, you know, kind of cool. I hope he thought, you know. Right. You want jam? I had no idea you were coming, but I figured any drummer that would be invited to a Ted Nugent party, I tilted my amps towards you just to help cleanse your soul. It's going to be a challenge. Because yeah. he's got such a strong personality. <laughs> I 
think everyone's expectations range from, wow, I'm gonna meet these guys and make like the greatest album of all time and go down in like in rock history, or this could be some weak ass dudes, you know? I'm Evan Seinfeld, lead singer, bass player of Biohazard. Biohazard sang about all the biohazards in the world. Things that were bringing society down. We got to open up for Ozzy and Metallica, and we got to go on tour and play with Kiss. We've played shows with the Red Hot Chili Peppers and David Bowie. Play with any band that would play with a heavy group. My wife, Tara Patrick, and I own an adult company called TerraVision that I direct and produce for her. Yes. You know, I am who I am. I try to pretend to be what I'm not. Love me or hate me, take me or leave me, you know? Walked in, I saw Ted Nugent. It's almost laughable in a way. How you doing, son? Evan. Who's that guy right there? Oh my you god. You know Jason? Like I didn't grow up on Ted Nugent. Like I know Cat Scratch Fever, and that's like about it. You're not gonna have any fun at all, are you? No, I must uh, hey, I'm man. in. All right. Next guy to come in was Evan. I didn't know Evan from Adam. So where was your last musical jihad? The last Biohazard album. Biohazard. That's me. Uh, I got buddies in the EPA. We'll be fine. My initial feeling was like, wow, me and Ted are gonna fist fight by the end of the first day. I say we bolt the doors and everybody else can kiss my ass. This is it, we're gonna be a three piece. I seriously look at this as it's gonna be summer band camp. And I loved going to camp when I was a kid. Now I get to go to camp and sleep in a big fat house and actually have a bar that I'm allowed to drink from. So for me, it's a win-win situation. <laughs> they find Liberace's house for this thing. I'm Scott Ian and I play a rhythm guitar in a band called Anthrax. We've basically made ourselves as a touring band since 1984. Metal is really kind of what's gotten my heart since I was a little kid. I spend months at a time in a stinky tour bus. So to spend two weeks in a house with four other guys is a piece of cake. How you doing, son? Excellent, Ted. You're not gonna have any fun on our... My life from the age of 13 to 17 flashed before my eyes when I saw Ted Nugent standing in the room. I was like, holy I'm gonna be in a band with Ted Nugent. I had an idea you might be here. You <laughs> never. I never show up any place, you know. I saw Evan and I saw Jason, but I gotta admit, I was pretty excited about the Nuge. I don't know who number five is gonna be, but he better be a bad mother. Yeah, really. What? Jeez, some nice digs. I'm very excited just because I don't know what I'm walking into, literally. I have no idea. Whoa! I want to make sure that whatever we come up with is good as the stuff that I've put out in the past. My name is Sebastian Bach. I am the original singer for Skid Row. Jeez! We sold over 20 million albums worldwide. And we're the first heavy metal band to debut at number one on the Billboard chart. Oh my God! making noise and then of course Sebastian comes in. I do it too. Oh my god! We're the band! 
Sebastian is like not just a great entertainer and great vocalist, but he's an outrageous rock and roll fan. How you doing? Blood brother! Anybody that warrior just gotta be okay. You're not gonna have any fun around, are you? I'm feeling like this is a dream. I respect all these musicians that I'm playing with so much, like every one of them, for a different reason. Ted Nugent! Me playing in a band with Ted Nugent is like playing in a band with Santa Claus. Never fall, have a turn on you, or you look too good to me. Like, that's like not even human to me in, in a way. It's like, he's a cultural icon. I feel like these guys deserve me. They're all virtuosos. They all got a lot of piss and vinegar. Whip it out, I whip it out. I got me a rock and roll band. It's a super group. They've shown immediate and instinctive attentiveness to the beast of the music that I crave. Coming up. Here comes the brains of the operation. Oh, my God. A legendary rock manager steps up to lead the band. There isn't really a guy out there with more clout. But will the band listen? You got to say, if Doc ain't going to tell me nothing new. When Supergroup returns. All right, let me, let me turn it this way. There's in America right now who've sold 30 million records. They don't have as much talent as what's in this room already, so. Well, all I can but tell I, you... <laughs> Is I'm, I'm pleased to be in your presence. I feel great things coming. So, Ian, you tell us what you think is applicable to this wad of humanity here. Well, the five of us can't come up with something great, and we don't deserve to be in a band. I think it's pretty simple. Just grab the guitar and get some riffs. Fuck out! If you lose me, you're going to lose everybody. Yeah. I mean, I do all kinds. Here comes the brains of the operation. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm Doc. I've sold 300 million records. I've had the biggest bands in the world, and I think that's why I was picked. Holy Daisy Blue all the way. Oh my God, is back. I like the fact that he's here because there isn't really a guy out there with more clout. I think if we ask him to do something, he's going to get it done. Oh. Good to see you, Matt. With all due respect, Doc ain't going to tell me nothing new, but he is a great stamp of approval, and I have total confidence in him. He's a great man. I've only had one manager in my life up to this point, Doc McGee, who brought the world Motley Crue, Bon Jovi, Scorpions, my band. I found him when he was like 16 years old and uh, had a lot of success and a lot of headaches. It didn't end the way I wanted it to. He managed me for 10 years, and then he kicked me out of the band. So how would you feel? Yeah. So yeah. obviously you have something probably to tell us of what they actually want oh, us to do. Yeah. We should get together here shortly and let's go over yeah. a few objectives because there's a lot to do. I tell these guys we got to encapsulate the creation of a band that takes 12 years into 12 greasy ass days. It's going to be fun for sure. It's going to be more challenging than I thought. Let's go get our stuff in the rooms and in 15 minutes we'll meet back down so we can just go over some cool. stuff. Walk in and see Nugent standing there was like ridiculous. I'm in a band with Ted Nugent. Where are the bedrooms? All of you. You haven't seen him yet? No. You Just up disgusting. Ready? No TV. Yeah, I got insane. four bedrooms, none of them are mine. It's insane. It's totally insane. I'm glad to see there's more people without hair in the band now. That's, yeah, exactly. that's really pleased me. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's <laughs> What the <laughs> That is Killer. This is the ugliest house I've ever seen. <laughs> this is worse than Donald Trump's house. What do I think of the house? Different. Dude, we're in a band with Ted. <laughs> Listen, I, the I, band I, should be called. It's really freaking me the out. The band like should I, be called in a band with Ted. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna check out my crib, brother. All right. Wow! <laughs> I thought Eddie Van Halen was here. <laughs> this is beautiful. Hey, Ted. A little minefield, put a little minefield out tonight. I could do that. You guys run through it naked with Kevlar on your scrotum. This will do. <laughs> this is fit for a super group. This is the gayest house ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go have a band meeting. So here's kind of the game plan for me. To do this, we got 12 days. At the end of the 12 days, we have to play a show. Okay, but I think that if we concentrate on writing one great song, talking about one great song, yeah, I might 
brain is going into what would I want to see Sebastian Bach do on a microphone with Jason Bonham behind him, some growling, obnoxious <laughs> on bass guitar, and some rainbow <laughs> goatee <laughs> double mic guitar line, and I already got a bunch of <laughs> ideas. I could go in there right now and I'd go, can we try this? Let's go. You gotta be like, hey guys, this is this new band. Boom. <laughs> you know what I mean? But we need to come up with a name. How about Raw Dogs? Yeah, that's Raw dog. Dog. That might be too. Too bone -head. You know, coming out know. with a name could take 12 days. Honest. We are cool. Our music's cool. The damn band name better not be stupid. I think we ought to be called Chesty Puller. <laughs> Chesty Puller is dumb. It's like calling your band Limp Biscuit if you want to be forgotten quick. How about we call the band Venison? <laughs> That's too obvious. Why don't we just call ourselves Monsters of Doc? What if we name the band The Situation? The Situation. It's not a good name for a band. It sounds just as stupid as Spinal Tap. How about SG? SG, you said? Well, yeah. The letter's SG. Supergroup, just, 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 just... I think we ought to avoid anything referencing the Supergroup. We've gone through every bull name in America. Let's start thinking about that, but in the 12 days that we have here, we're gonna have a pretty good schedule. I'll be working with the press team, the production team. We gotta work our off is what we gotta do. This is day one. Can they pull it off? I think it's gonna be tough. Oh, they can. They're That's good. what happens when uh, the elephants are... You're the first yeah. female I've seen all day. Yeah, we need to do something about that, too, by the way. <laughs> I'm Danushka. Danushka? Your personal chef. Wow! Well, that's funny. When you came in, I was thinking of eating something. How are you doing? My name's Evan. I'm the bass player. <laughs> bass player. Evan, it's really nice to meet you. I'm a man, and as we speak, Mrs. Nugent has one of those electronic dog training collars on my scrotum. And she got a satellite feed, so she knows when to apply the fry factor. Yeah. Pronounce your name again. Danushka. Danushka, get cooking. Maybe. Coming up, with the spoils of Sin City thrown on their lap, the band loses focus. It's good to be in Supergroup. When Supergroup rocks on. I've been cooking. And I've been cooking, and I've been cooking. Hey! Listen, if you want anything, you have to say please. Please, Danushka. Please give me the salt and pepper. I wonder how long before Danushka's living in our house as a live-in cook before Tara has her posing in the Penthouse magazine as Penthouse Pet of the Year because she's pretty hot, Danushka. Hey, you know, shouldn't she be in movies? No. I got a camera. <laughs> I think every woman somewhere inside fantasizes about being a pinup or, or a centerfold. I think I can make her famous. I can make you into a star. Steer clear of this. I mean, if you're a playmate, it's considered an honor. <laughs> They're a handful. Sex is God's gift to us, man. It's not supposed to be something we're supposed to be ashamed of. Evan, of course, he's a porno star now. I don't know if everybody knows that, but I was just in the airport buying a porno mag, and there's Evan's <laughs> I go, dude, what? I don't want to see that. What the f <laughs> I just do porn, you know. Some people who down on it, but the men that are dissing it are secretly wishing they were dating those girls, and the women who are dissing it are secretly wishing they were those girls. I'm walking down the street in New York City, and my chick Maria is wearing this white top with like fur on it, and I see this ass hanging out of his car, staring right at my chick, man. And I go, "Who's that ass?" Hey, Evan, what the? <laughs> you go, hey, I man, thought it was two chicks walking. Like, you thought I was a chick? Who's the <laughs> you? You got a nice ass, Sebastian. I've known Sebastian for a bunch of years. He's an easy target, you know, big guy, big mouth, long blonde hair, you know, pretty guy. I'm going to grab Danushka and just hit the sack. I mean, it's, uh, it's another time, another place. I'd have her howl like a three-legged coyote. You're not to be crazier, but do you want to take this in the other room and yeah, noodle yeah. a little bit? And then go to that! It was just that first jam day getting some noodling going. Yeah. That, that's a specific thing. Yeah. 
Yes! There was a firestorm of creativity. Which for the first night was essential to determine who's got what to offer. Check it out. That being said, that process naturally is very ineffective. I like that, but that's more like major and Zeppelin y. I'm trying to do something more down and dark. Yeah, I know, but dude, let's listen to it. See what it sounds like. Don't, I don't want everyone playing that riff all together like a big monster right. yeah, the I'm, whole I'm time. Not, I'm, I'm But maybe not so newly. Maybe more like grab a note and bend it. I can deform and mutilate and, and beat up and reorganize a chord. That's predictable. That's one, four, five blues. But you should never avoid E, A, and D just because you've done it a million times because it might be the right chords for this moment. We're, we're overthinking this. It was good. Down, it just sounded like old guy rock. Ted's riffs sound really major and kind of just dated to me. Play the A riff, play the E riff. Let's see where we go from there. At some point, Someone is gonna have to tell someone else that something sucks. Play those two. Let's riffs. try everything. All right, I'll okay, try everybody's it idea. Let's try it and see what we like. You know what I mean? Dude, there's a song in here. We haven't got time to explore a thousand ideas from each person. Let's just try that. Better than nothing. Somebody better harness the best of each, decide what is cohesive, and before this day is over, we better have a complete song. Killer. The collaboration between all of us really worked incredibly. I'm going to the strip club. Now, now better you than me. Come on. They had VIP reservations for us at scores, but everybody kind of beat out. Jason was like, ah. Since I gave up drinking, not a big go or outer anymore. I don't know. I don't really go out that much anymore. Tomorrow at noon when you come dragging your ass in. You're not going? Yeah. No. Like, I need a topless, smoky, nasty-ass, dirty diaper bar. I'm pretty tired, too, actually. I, I shouldn't go, go out. No. Shouldn't go out. Ted was in bed before I could even ask him if he wanted to go. I got to cut him a lot of slack, because he's a rock star, and he's the he's same age as my dad. We bid you all adieu. Do we even need keys for this place? Probably not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lick, 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 lick you from your head to your toes. I want up. Even from back in the day, I never quite understood the strip club. I used to play with us. Come over here. We'll sit on your back. I'm all right. I'm good. Very scared. We weren't in Skid Row. We weren't in Motley Crue. We were Anthrax. We didn't leave with the strippers. We just went, spent all our money, and then got on the bus with a boner. If any of these guys actually say, I don't really want to go to the strip club, they're really lying. This is like every man's birthright. He's really saying, I don't want to deal with the consequences of my chick getting upset with me. It's like big deal. It's like a strip club, you know? That's definitely Evan's element. Can you guys kiss each other? It's like nursery school for Evan compared to his real element. It's good to be in Supergroup. While they're going to the bars, I'm doing the important things in life. Having a good that destroys plumbing. to do, man. I thought we were wasting time yesterday. Bull <laughs> My thing last night when Evan was saying, I want to do a blues on her A&E. Yeah. The way I do things, any idea should be OK to try. Do you know road what I mean? Road less travel, baby. You got to explore that road That's before right. you decide, decide it doesn't go someplace cool. Yeah, and like if somebody says, I don't want to try that, like, just try it. You know what I mean? I, you think That's... I might know what you mean? Yeah. I want to be Mr. Bandmate, but I'll tell you my <laughs> was in a knot. <laughs> But I'm going to be really understandable, and I'm going to let it rip. But now we got to turn up the heat. The clock is ticking loudly, and now we've got to become more productive and more efficient. I'm going running right now. Are you really going to run? I'm running right now. Put your sweat in the sun, man. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go run with you. Everyone said that if anybody went running together, it was really gay. So I was like, well, I'll go running with Sebastian, because I know I'm not gay, and I know he's not gay. Well, I don't know he's not gay, but I'm pretty sure he's not gay. And it wouldn't matter if he was. Keep a slow pace. While I was running, I listened to music that we recorded into my iPod last night. No, dude, our is not that great. It's not, right? No. I told you. I'm ready to go back. I've had enough. <laughs> I'm so out of shape. I had such a hard time keeping up with him out there because it's like chasing a gazelle.
coming up. 11 days till showtime and a rebellious supergroup blows off their first band meeting. You're a half hour late for a band meeting. I had to go running, dude. That, that usually constitutes a band meeting when the band's there. Obviously, it's better to be on time and keep to a schedule, but it is rock and roll. When Supergroup returns. What a surprise. I mean, that they're late for a bad meeting. You make people wait so you can do whatever you're doing. What's up, brother? Day one, a half hour late for a band meeting. Doc had a meeting scheduled for 11 a.m. I had to go running, dude. What? What? Me having a meeting with Doc is not going to help me look my best in 12 days. Maybe we should have the meeting like now. I can't do this for 12 more days. <laughs> There's just no chance of that happening. Here, let's see if I got this right. <laughs> Maybe we should have the meeting now. <laughs> no, we should have the meeting like, you know, 45 minutes ago. I went running four miles. I mean, that's better for my career. We got a lot of to do today. We got our meeting now? Yeah, you know, well, no, we had a meeting uh, about 45 minutes ago. Did you guys meet already? No, we did well. We had a hard time meeting with the band when the band wasn't there. When I got back from my run, Doc was kind of like, hey, you know, where were you guys? <laughs> Usually constitutes a band meeting when the band's there. Obviously, it's better to be on time and keep to a schedule, but it is rock and roll. <laughs> I've heard so much about. Yes, I'm. Oh, I'm so happy you could make it. Yeah. All right, Mr. Manager, what's the premise of this your meeting? Well, it's actually a branding meeting. We have a team of people that we put together. This is a really good publicity firm. It's called City Publicity, and they're from Los Angeles. They've done branding for Backstreet Boys to all different kinds of things. They're gonna love us. <laughs> I'm not really sure what the PR people are doing here yet. PR people are consumed with imagery, and I always think that Ted Nugent needs an imagery direction like a dairy farmer needs a milkman. Maybe they can advise me of things I should say. Hey, man. How you, you guys, doing? You guys did the Backstreet Boys, right? I'm a box street boy. Share your wisdom with us. How do we penetrate that ever suspicious media? Yeah, what's your pitch? We're going to talk to you. You're going to stick. We're going to ask you. Buzzwords, right? How are you spinning this thing? We're going to vertically integrate it and move forward. We're going to monetize the thing and streamline it. What's the, what's, what's happening here, guys? <laughs> they jumped screaming at us. I just sat there going, wow, I've never been in a situation as a publicist where they have felt like I was there to harm them. We've never talked in marketing speak. We specialize in bringing entertainment stories to the media. You want people to actually see the show and hear about it. So well, that's if, what we if, want if to I do. may, I've, I've listened to my comrades here, and as they stuff their face, I will transfer the information to you. We seek adventure. Is there going to be a feature in Rolling Stone? We love music, and we love unknown territory. What are you setting up? We're going into uncharted seas. Our swords and guitars. The name of the band is superfluous. What are we doing? We're just American. I'm English. English. I can give a about a new audience. How, how's, how's this for a name for a band? Neil Young. You need to go to radio right now. That Hold on, time out. Oh, God, today was the worst ADD session of everybody talking over everybody. We keep cutting each other off when we talk. Every one of us, you. No, all of us, not every one of us. Well, we haven't had a right now yet. None of us can get our thought out. Let's hear everybody and then respond. Go around the room. Scott, what are your thoughts of being here? I think we should have one of those, the talking stick. You're only speaking if you have the hot sauce. Then let me ask you to see if you deserve my input. What would you think if a guy came to you, Mr. L.A., and said, we're going to call ourselves Blood Brothers? I'd ask you why. Come on. Put the thinking cap on, pal. Well, the story's not just about the name. And if, if uh, I'm a... Answer my f***ing question. Be nice. Be nice. This is as nice as it gets, nice. baby. I didn't know how we were going to get through 12 days when we walked in. I thought, oh, my God, I'm just not built for this. I want to see what your reaction is. Musicians okay. are artists, and I respect them okay, tremendously. Okay, what's the next move? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is not computational therapy. <laughs> this, oh, but it's got, this, we got to come up with clever ideas. I'm yes, the, what we're trying to do here, as, as, you, as we threw yeah. them to the wolves as soon as they walked in. What can we do for you right now? I would love for you guys to go put on some clothes okay. that you want, you know, 13 million people to see. Because right. if you're doubting our capabilities, I'm not. I doubt nothing. We have the largest men's magazine in the country, Maxim. Right on. Is shooting you guys. If you need something in Las Vegas, I need a box of money. Yeah, right. let's get to work. Okay. We got 10 days. Ready for your close-up? Hell yeah. Now it's time to 
get him to do this photo shoot with Maxim, and hopefully it goes smoothly. My hair's good to go. All right, love it. <laughs> you can do Scott Ian's hair. He's bald. Ah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> one more of that. That's a good one. Dude, I don't, I don't feel right. Okay. I do want to do some shots of this. I think I like the colors. OK. Valerie helped me out a lot. She said, I want to see your clothes. I think I'm liking the brown. We went through them, and we picked out what we both liked, and it was fun. I feel like I'm saddling a horse right now. I'm excited. <laughs> she has a lot of good ideas. It's leather, very leather. But it's... You're owning it. Do your makeup okay. and let me see it. Right. And blend. That's it. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> That's rocking. You're doing that like a pro. I was doing this when good Charlotte was a stain on their daddy's pant leg. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. What does it look like? Like that bloated filter you got going there. Like right before Elvis died. Yeah, that's good. You should definitely always go from the outside. You got all the tricks. Babe, I am a glam aficionado. This is too, is it sitting right? It's weird. Do you want to make No, that's good. I'm ready to go out with one of my girlfriends. That's good. You're adorable. You're adorable. If I wasn't me, I'd <laughs> you. <laughs> let me be the front man with the nice lips. Don't do the kissy girl. I, thing. Just let me be a rock and roll man. Are you gonna punk around Ben? No, I don't punk. I never did in my life. Do you think I go like this? Like. Jeez. <laughs> 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 don't. Put that one in there. <laughs> That's good. That's it. That's it. One more of that. That's the good one. Good. That is rock and roll, okay? That's rock. Coming up. Deep in the darkness. Evan and Baz set out to make rock history. The twist. Whoa, what was that? But technical problems threatened their masterpiece. I gave him the zero point last time. And that's exactly where I started it. Don't yeah. talk to me that way. I'll knock you that's out, right. period. Right. I don't give a when Supergroup returns. One, two, three, four. We rehearsed for a good five, six hours, maybe. I don't know. Jamming with these guys is not like work. It's like a dream. Just judging by how the jamming went, um, Everybody was letting everybody have their say. You change it too fast. <laughs> yeah, too fast. Sebastian is just a Ted Nugent fan. If we were up to Sebastian, we would just be making a Ted Nugent album. Scott and I are musically the closest on the same page. In the bridge. I still think it should be every other one. Let's try every other one again. Five guys are just fingers. They only have so much power to accomplish things individually, but boy, you put them together and you can uh, take care of business. There's a time and place for everything. Right now is the time for us to come up with some lyrics. That's what this time is. I don't know what kind of mix this is, but there's no Ted and no Evan. Oh, I didn't mix it. Like, get it. Hey, Glenn. I'm Glenn Gaines. I'm the audio supervisor for the television show Supergroup. Glenn, is, is, are these, is this a multi-track recording? I've got a multi-track, yeah. This is just a two-track. Because there's no bass and there's no Ted Nugent. It's not a studio. This is not a recording studio. Oh We're going to make a recording studio out of this. If they don't want to make this a studio, we'll go to a studio. We'll rent the studio ourselves. We'll play it. We didn't set this up to be a recording studio, but for some reason, Evan and Sebastian wanted to record a demo CD, and they wouldn't let that go. We're not cutting a CD here. We're yes, we are. No, that's not what this is about. This Dude, is... don't tell me what this is about. I know how to do We're this. We're going to make music. I told them I would do my best to give them all the tools that they needed. But I can give you copies of the session. All Let's the, do it. All the tracks. On my part, that was going to require a bit of reprogramming of the entire system, because that's not what it was set up to do. You want that now? Um, might as well. Got it. That's great. 
Here's your verse. Ready? Deep in the darkness. Hey, in, yeah. Deep in, in the darkness. darkness in the hey, universe yeah. of okay. hate. Yeah. Over and over the twisted hand of fate. <laughs> Sucking the lifeblood oh. of all I feel is pure, yeah. soulless existence I'm not willing to endure. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's great. Nicely done. Uh, Very nice. I don't know, the feeling that I get from it is it's almost like a fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a push and pull. A push and pull. Yeah, it's like a, yeah. it's like a dichotomy. It's trying to it's claw. We'll use some clawing. Yeah, we'll get we'll, we'll get real Write descriptive. Down, Just clawing. Well, um, Dude, you are Lyrical fast too. I always have lyrics and titles on my computer, you know, so I have like a backlog, a bock log, if you will. <laughs> These are all titles. Refuse to lose, power corrupts, free radical, ballistic, acceleration, loose cannon, walk or bleed, hell's worst bitch. Oh, it's hard. Take it back. Take it back! That's the second title I have it down right there. Take it back! For me, that means this is our stage. Take it back! All right? We've come to take what's ours. Okay, you know what? I'm ready to play the down. I'm serious. Deep in the darkness, in the universe of hate, home of an the twist. Whoa, what was that? I'm blowing up the blue mic here for some reason. I did my very best to set it up in that moment for them to be able to record. I let them know that it was going to take a little bit of time, and that seemed to upset them even more. Okay, again, please. So now place. take it where you want also, to take Also, I need it. a little more music. What the f It's just that I can't wave my magic wand and make it happen. It takes a little bit of thought, it takes a little bit of time, it takes a little bit of action on my part. Where are we in Wait, the song? Look, look. You're in the wrong part. I was doing my very best to help them out, and Evan stuck his head out into the control room. Dude, what are you guys doing? It started calling into question my professional ability. At that point, it was a little bit offensive. Every time we say stop and start recording, you guys skip us by, stop it. Just start it in the beginning and press play. Calm down, just give me a minute, all right? You know what, dude, you're being a Am I? You gotta drop the attitude. Don't say it, he's got it. Me giving you attitude? Are you kidding me? This is not his job. Don't talk to me that way. I'll knock you out, period. I don't give a Turn around. Our higher purpose is to create music that will live long after we're dead. You know what? Send him the f home. Dead serious. Yeah, and Glenn couldn't engineer for us. I don't need breeders of dissension I in am. our camp. I think that maybe Evan and Sebastian should stop focusing on my ability to perform and start focusing on their own abilities to perform. Okay, you know what? That's good for me tonight. We went to a place called the Cheyenne Saloon. We just walked in to hang out and the place was going off. I've been autographing since 1986. It's my job. It's what I do. <laughs> Some young kid band was playing, and I was a little hammered. And they looked right at me, and they go, dude, this one's for you. And then they went into the song Black Sabbath. And it's only three notes. Down, dude. So I thought I could go sing it. What is this that stands before me? <laughs> so I would come in with a vocal, and then they would stop playing. This stands before me. <laughs> and that takes balls to do that. It does. Okay, How dare you have Sebastian Bach come up on stage and stop playing? And chimps. When we left, a truck pulled up with this giant billboard on the side that said Super Group with all our names. And that was kind of cool. I hope our first public appearance is a good omen of things to come because I'm hoping the buzz builds. This season on Super Group. <coughs> Let's rock. With 10 days left till the final concert. Oh, I should have kept going. It's completely possible. 
that the five of us could be in this room and not come up with anything cool. This isn't really thrilling me yet. These guys have their work cut out for them. They need a strong name. Savage animal. Lord you Marcus is the greatest name ever. Celeb you tard. They need a new look. That's not gonna happen. I'm not wearing that on stage. I'm not wearing that ever. I wouldn't even wear that on Halloween. Dude, I'm a glam They need the right sound. So let's existence. Like, yeah. You sing it. If anybody thinks it's gonna sound good, they're sadly mistaken. I can go down here to the Holiday Inn, and those guys will play better than these guys will any day of the week. Overwhelmed, these guys take their focus off the music. Girls want to go party. The reality of rock and roll <laughs> is that rock and rollers do whatever the f the rock and rollers want to do. Yes! It's like nasty. I'd be shocked if they're going to pull off what they want to pull off. The old habits die hard. I don't want to be hung over. I don't. But then again, I am going out tonight. I'm seriously drunk. I'm playing. Get away from me. <laughs> Kill you. He's drunk. Evan's mad. Not a good combination. I'm gonna Get, Get away from me. It's that razor's edge between organized mayhem and just counterproductive mayhem. If he's drinking before the show, I ain't playing with him. Evan is gone. Evan. He's not coming back. This is gonna be a train wreck. But a train wreck on top of a car crash. With the band falling apart. Get the out of my room. We need to go sound check immediately. With or without Evan. You guys don't get it. I'm not doing it. Someone here is fetching a bass player. How will this all end? This is totally pointless without effort. There's no way this is going to happen.